slides back in now, Johanna Masca and Alyssa Farah. So, Johanna, you know, the, the biggest criticism has come, and it came again when Jen Psaki at the White House press briefing room said again that there are these temporary jobs. Well, you have to apply for them. Mm -hmm. They have to appear. There have to be enough of them. I mean, you heard those numbers from the Georgia official. These numbers are huge just from the Keystone yeah. pipeline. What is President Biden going to do to fix this? Well, President Biden is going to take the advice of um, actual experts, so he's not going to take the celebrities' advice. And I think you're right. He's going to look at it as the jobs But the people the working on the pipeline it's are it's experts. That's why they were hired to so, build it. So 10,000 jobs are temporary. It's a construction job. And then over the long term, it's actually less than 50 people who will have employment. And actually, Canada is heavily invested in this, and they stand to benefit a lot more than we do. So I do believe that there has to be a you know full and uh, thorough look at our energy security and our jobs. But this, this pipe, this specific project, um, it is only temporary construction jobs, and then long term, right. we have less I than have 50 to step jobs. In. It was temporary, but long enough that people were building houses along the way. We've had some of them on this program. They were building lives. There's a woman who was about to send her daughter next year off to college. This has a collateral damage effect. Alyssa. Yeah. Well, absolutely. I mean, Joe Biden sacrificed American jobs on the altar of the far left. And talking about doing it again, these celebrities with net worths in the tens of millions of dollars is just absurd. And we also, in, in addition to American jobs, have to think about American energy independence. If you don't want to get bogged down in conflicts in the Middle East, then we need to keep these projects on U.S. soil and keep mm. Americans employed. Tell me about the power of the pen. <laughs> Joanna, I have to look at this. I mean, we're north of 52, 53. Yeah. I mean, it ticks up every day with these executive actions and orders. Who is this president beholden to? Is it going to be the American people or the far left? And we only have about 10 seconds. It's absolutely the American people. And one, one more thing I would add is, again, like, this is Canada's pipeline. So if we want energy, independence, and security, we need to create that as Americans, and we need American bipartisan jobs. work to do it. It meant American Temporary. Jobs. All right. I'm going to let you it's both American go. Jobs. Power panel, thank you very much.